I can transform oh any gosh. relationship. Wow. I have healed narcissists with my ritual and, work. Um, it's really a case of karma, basically. Like, this person is reaping so much of what they've sown. Like, okay, so they wronged you and they was constantly running in and out of your life. And now the person that they actually ran to, they're having, they've been fighting for about two weeks now. They've been fighting nonstop for two weeks straight bickering going backwards and forward just fight like it's a it's chaos and they, and they distraught this person is so like they they in their head a lot and see they lied on you they left you because see you were very supportive of this person you were very uh nurturing of this person very mothering you know just giving them warm love you know taking your money, spending money on them. And they didn't appreciate any of that. What they would do is when they wanted something, they all nice and, you know, treat you, you the best person in the world, treating you like your royalty. But it was like a cycle. You know, they get what they want. And then when that's bored to them, then they go back to being, uh, the, the, they go back to their, uh, lying, cheating, uh, conniving ways, you know, they do things passive aggressive, do things that know infuriate you, you know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't just gonna come out and say it, but they do it in a way where they know, you know, it's gonna affect you, it's gonna make you feel a certain type of way. But now the tables has turned on them. Mm -hmm. Those tables do turn. They turn all the time. So I constantly keep reminding people, you know what I'm saying? It's good karma and it's bad karma. Okay? You want to do as much good, you know what I'm saying, in this lifetime so you can receive good. You feel me? You don't want to be creating all this bad, unnecessary karma. Because, see, what they did was they ran back to this person that they left you for and they, they was putting the blame on you. They was... Filling this person head over so many lies, saying uh, things that wasn't true about you. But, huh, this person that they ran to finally realized that it was not uh, that, that that they were lying. Yep, this that's what it is. This person see the obedience. This supply is not being obedient like they want them to, to be obedient. And they're realizing that. They've gotten themselves into a world of trouble and they trying to get rid of this person. So now this person is trying to figure out where, where to run to. You see, they don't know what to do. They don't know where to run. They know they messed up things tremendously with you. So I wouldn't be surprised if they think, you know, if they try to come back again. But see, listen, this reading is going to be called I come second to no one because you come first. You don't have time to be carrying uh, the the whole relationship. Because, see, with this person, you know you're going to have to carry that whole relationship load. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have time for a person in their indecisiveness, that their indecisions. You know what I'm saying? You need a person that's, that, that, that's on your level. This person's not on your level. They're just not on your level. They came into your life to uh, for a reason, and that was to teach you a lesson. That lesson, I do strongly feel like you've learned from that lesson. So that's their departure. Their role in the play is over with. So they're just going to keep on and see they're not trying to heal themselves. They know what they're doing. They just keep running from person to person to person, keep pointing the finger, blaming, you know what I'm saying, when the problem is really them. They're the problem, but they refuse to heal themselves. And yeah, this person is like not going to be obedient to them because they see and they confronted this person. And they told this person their exact words where you was lying on them. I see what uh, I see what they went through because you're taking me through the same thing. Yeah. And so that 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 initial that ignited a argument and they've been arguing ever since and they can't see out of eye. And they're not going to see eye to eye because this connection with them is not going to work. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to work because that person is not going to put up with it. You know, they've told them, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not tolerating it. You feel me? So now, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're in hunt mode now. You know what I'm saying? But one, like I say, they've messed it up with you so bad because, 
you was the only one that accepted all of your flaws. You, you, you look past that. You feel me? You nourished them. You took care of them. And, and, you know, and I know you feel puzzled as to how did they could treat you like that and just leave you. But see, now, now they, the tables turn and they're getting done. The same way they were you that, that the same way they were doing you, this person is doing them the same way because whoever this person is that they left you for, that person not being loyal to them. And and, and I do feel like they confronted this person about their loyalty. And this person has somebody else, a whole nother person. See? They're getting it back. They're getting they're getting their karma back. You know, one minute they make you feel on top of the world, and the next minute they're treating you like a piece of trash. But now, oh yeah, you see, you have to set boundaries within your life. We all have to do that, you know, and that's a part of transformation. That's a part, that's the beautiful part about healing, setting boundaries, letting people know what they can and can't do, okay? Because you deserve the utmost best. You know, you know what's best for your life. You are not a revolving door. You are not a revolving door. Pick they need to pick a side and stay there. And now that you know how they do, you know their pattern. Just watch that. They got a pattern. You feel me? And you've learned that pattern. See, you know them. You know, and they, they can trick other people, try to easily trick other people, but it's it's just not gonna work. You know, it's coming to an end. You know, a relationship or connection should always be balanced. You know, it should be uh, healthy. It should make you happy. You know, it should not be draining. You know, because this person.